So I felt like I had to make a video on this because uh, this is a truly groundbreaking moment in physics, in material science, space flight engineering. This is a checkpoint for humanity because a DARPA funded team directed uh, by a pioneer in the field of warp drive technology and a former warp drive specialist for NASA, Dr. Harold G. White, has successfully created the world's very first and very real warp bubble through his Limitless Space Institute. Now, it's worth mentioning that this is a very small warp bubble. Uh, we're not talking about a macro bubble that could envelop a spacecraft. Nevertheless, this is, at least on public record, the very first time humanity has managed to create a warp bubble in space-time. And it is the checkpoint towards the development of space-based platforms that can utilize a, a macro size warp drive technology. This is, this is a, a great big step towards fulfilling our destiny of exploring the stars, and this should be celebrated by all of us, because regardless of um, whether or not you believe this type of thing has already been developed in secret, what is most important is that this breakthrough has been reported on in a fully public manner. This is a good sign for the progression of uh, transparent development of exotic energy and propulsion systems, and I think we should definitely look at it through that lens. Now, call it informed speculation, but I suspect that DARPA was waiting for the right time to bring this out into the public. I think this is very much a part of the whole gradual rollout of information and insight that we're seeing with the UFO or UAP issue because we're now openly discussing uh, within the halls of Congress and through our mainstream media um, the beyond next generation capabilities of these UFOs that seem to be exhibiting a more advanced understanding of physics than what is held within our current paradigm and, uh, and so the exotic propulsion and energy system conversation is inevitably going to have to be addressed. And it seems to me that this uh, so-called accidental creation of a warp bubble by a DARPA-funded team seems highly coincidental. Now, I would personally hazard a guess that we already have a stable macro version of uh, warp bubble or warp drive technology. It wouldn't surprise me necessarily to discover that we have already created a platform that utilizes a, a warp bubble or a warp drive system. But even if I'm wrong, uh, what is important here is that we have official public acknowledgement of the creation of a warp drive or a warp bubble system, which is in my eyes a tremendous step forward and gives me optimism for where our space flight systems might progress to within this decade. I think it's also quite interesting to note that the author of this article, Mr. Christopher Plain, has reported on exotic propulsion technologies before and has even quoted Dr. Eric Davis's boss over at uh, Aerospace Corporation, which is a company that is extremely high up on the list of potential contractors that have access to exotic materials potentially of non-human origin. So I thought it would be a good idea to promote this article on the debrief because this is a massive breakthrough in modern science and it represents a potential path we might take towards the development of space operational platforms that can explore the far reaches of space. This is, in my opinion, uh, the true destiny of humanity to eventually journey off into the far reaches of the universe and uh, discover more about ourselves and uh, the other occupants of this reality, which I imagine there are more than really can be counted. This is, uh, in my opinion, the beginning of that historical moment in the future. I think it's a future that might be realized faster than some people are prepared for. Um, but this is a this is a truly amazing uh, breakthrough, and uh, I wanted to make sure it was shared with everyone who listens to me on my platform. If you want to read the full article, there is a link in the description box below, and I would definitely recommend that you check out the article and uh, and read the full details. And uh, until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon.